tomorrow morning, the 11 of you that are active players are checking out whenever you want, uh, going together to buy a train ticket, going to Bologna. When you walk out of the station, there's a Mercour right in front of you. It's the biggest hotel with the humongous sign that says Mercour, and you check in there. And then we're going to meet in the lobby at 3. On our way back from Venice, we actually stopped and looked at the train schedules to see what time we were going to come out today to Bologna. Um, but then it actually happened that, well, first they told us we weren't allowed to take the same train, like Kevin and the coaches told us we weren't allowed to take their same train, but it just so happened that something happened and we were able to, so it's kind of easy that way. We uh, kind of mooched off them to figure out the train from there. Um, and then we made our way to Bologna, looked at the hotel, super nice. Then we walked down the, just down the street, looked at the shops. Um, a few of us actually went to the store called Zara. We bought a few things, maybe more than we should have, but um, it was a good time. And we've gotten gelato a few times today. We've eaten pizza, we had a we had pizza before the match, so that was a little weird for us, actually. Um, but it's been super good, and this gelato is actually really delicious, also. What flavors did you get? I got chocolate and pistachio. It's delicious. Nice. What was your favorite thing you saw today in Bologna? Um, I think it's just, well, it's a lot different than Venice. Um, Venice, the part that we were at for the hotel was just, um, just a lot different than I expected. Um, it was really old, it seemed like, and the buildings just seemed like they were run down. The part that we were at, not the like the main main part of Venice, but um, Bologna is actually really pretty. It's got lots of tall buildings and a lot of old things that are um, just pretty to see. It's a lot different than the U.S. and the cars here are actually wild. Um, we saw a Biker hit a real person today. That was really sad. I felt so bad for that man crossing the street. But it's it's super cool here. It's fun. The Torre Asinelli had 498 steps to the top. It was about a 20 foot wide diameter tower that started. We walked in, we had no idea what we were getting into. We walk in and it's like a cement walls all around you, surrounding you, and thick walls at the bottom, thick brick walls at the bottom. We start going up this spiral staircase and it starts to get a little wider, we get a little more space, but as we get more and more space, the steps get narrower and narrower and steeper and steeper. And uh, at one point, Joe and I looked down and we got a little panic. Um, and uh, you know, it was, it was fun, it was worth the three euro. Um, and we got to see the entire city from, uh, from a rooftop view, which was awesome. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you saw at the top. At the top we were able to see the, uh, the piazza with the, with the main church of Bologna, which was cool. We also saw um, some vineyards off to the north um, in some hills and a castle on a hill. Um, we noticed that the, the streets all kind of went out in a pie uh, away from the, uh, from the piazza, which was, which was cool as well, just to see how the city was laid out. We could see the city walls, the old, uh, old city walls, and you can kind of get a, a good idea of what the, what the city looked like back in, uh, you know, when it was, when it was formed. Which was harder, going up or going down? Oh, I think my heart was fluttering both times, so I don't know which one was harder, but uh, I think I knew what I was getting in for going down, so I'd say going up was a little tougher for me.